The purpose of this video is to show that projectile motion is a linear system. By that, it's meant that a very small change in the inputs uh, to a system of equations or an equation produces a very small change in the output. So, for example, the initial velocity of the projectile is 50. The uh, projection angle is 45 degrees, so I'll click on the green flag, and there's the trajectory of the projectile fired for those particular input values. Now, it's linear because if I change that very slightly to 49, run the program again, we see that the trajectory for that very small input change of uh, 1 still produces a small uh, change in the output. In other words, that projectile hits somewhat closely to the first one, and so on. So if I change the angle to 44, click on the green flag, we'll see that the uh, projectile still lands fairly close to the other projectiles so that small changes in inputs produces very small changes in outputs. Now that's a linear system and we contrast that with a nonlinear system like those found in deterministic chaos because in a nonlinear system a very small change in inputs can lead to huge changes in outputs. And that of course is the basis of the butterfly effect and more information on that can be found in the uh, PDF file, the Lorenz Attractor.